Hello, here is a slice of the liver and we're looking at a focal or discrete lesion, which is a cyst. You can see that this cyst is very close to the liver capsule and how we describe this cyst really depends on the number of locules. This is a unilocular cyst. Sometimes cysts can be posilocular, meaning that they have a few locules, or they can be multilocular. We can also describe cysts in terms of their contents, and usually in preserved specimens like this, you can't really see what used to be inside the cyst. So a cyst is generally a space that contains fluid, and it is often uh, microscopically lined by epithelium. So here we can't really comment on the contents, but if we have a fresh specimen, we would want to observe the color of the fluid. Is it purulent? Is it bloodstained um, or straw colored? We would want to also observe the clarity. Is it uh, clear or is it turbid? And we also want to look at the texture in terms of the thickness. Is it serous or is it mucoid or thick? In addition, we can also describe the cyst lining. In this instance, the cyst lining is extremely smooth. We don't see any obvious solid areas or papillary areas that are protruding into the lumen. If we do see papillary areas, we often refer to them as papillary excrescences. And in this instance, there are none. So this is really a unilocular cyst with a very smooth inner lining. There are no solid areas or papillary areas and I'm not able to, con to comment on the contents. Differential diagnosis for cystic lesions in the liver would include a unilocular solitary cyst, as we see in this instance. The other differential diagnosis includes cyst adenoma, and that is a neoplastic cyst. Grossly, it is quite different because a cyst adenoma is often multiloculated, and there may also be some papillary areas seen. Cyst adenoma carries a risk of carcinoma, and microscopically, there may even be areas of adenocarcinoma within cyst adenomas. Another differential diagnosis is a non-neoplastic one, which is polycystic liver disease. And in that instance, you would see multiple cysts. Here is an example of polycystic liver disease. The cysts can be very variable in terms of the number. Uh, they could be numerous, affecting almost the entire liver parenchyma, or they can be fewer, like in this instance, we can still see some normal hepatic parenchyma in between. Other non-neoplastic differential diagnoses of cystic or cavitating lesions would include an abscess, and in this instance, you can actually see that the wall is rather necrotic and has this pale exudate. Here is another example, and this is an amoebic abscess, which has a very friable appearing cyst lining with this uh, necrotic material that is sloughing off into the abscess cavity. We can contrast uh, the amoebic abscess with the solitary unilocular cyst, and you can see that it looks extremely different grossly. So to summarize, we are looking at a solitary or congenital liver cyst. The differential diagnosis for cystic lesions in the liver include both non-neoplastic conditions such as this solitary cyst, abscesses with cavitation, and polycystic liver disease, also Caroli's disease, which is dilatation of the intrahepatic biliary system, and neoplastic conditions such as cyst adenoma and other cystic tumors.